Welcome back to ODOT. We are here now with Kim Reisner from ODOT. She's a program administrator, and we've been talking a lot lately, Patricia, about road construction. But today, we're going to take a little detour. See how I did that? Very uh, good. Uh, yeah. Every once in a while, it works out <laughs> for me. Uh, we are going to talk about litter control yes. and what you guys are doing to try and keep our roadways clean. Yes. Um, you know, construction is one of the things that people don't like to see, the yellow, yes. the orange barrels. But the other thing that is complained about most is the litter along the highway. So we do have three programs right now that we're working on. One is our Adopt a Highway program, and that is where uh, a group, a school group, a club, a small business, anybody that wants to adopt a two-mile stretch of highway, and they can um, adopt that and keep that clean for us. Because we spend about $4 million a year statewide oh to gosh. pick up litter. That is a ton of money. So if my group, let's say a Girl Scout group, decides yes. they're going to adopt a two-mile stretch of the highway, what does that mean? Does it mean I provide you with money to clean that, or do we actually physically go out and clean the roadway? It, it costs your group nothing. Um, you adopt it. It's a two-year two commitment. We provide you with the trash bags. We'll give you vests if you need them, because everybody should have safety yes. vests on and safety signage. And for doing that, we'll put your name on one of the Adopt a Highway signs. And I've seen those signs before. I think it's a great idea. Is there an age, I'm thinking, I said Girl Scout, and I'm thinking right. little girls. Probably we don't want them next to the you highway. Have to, Do you have an, an age range? You have to be at least 12. Okay. Okay. Um, and if you're at between 12 and 18, a parent has to agree to let their child out there. And then we have a lot of... Um, university groups that have to do community service and they like to do this because it's free all they Absolutely. have to do is um, give their time it really is a great cause you don't think about it but you don't like not only do you not like to see it but frankly it can be dangerous it can be dangerous and it, it is something that takes a lot of our time um, Northwest Ohio it last year we spent about 16,000 hours picking up trash oh my gosh that's and a ton it's tons 20 uh, over 20,000 bags this is something that takes up our employees time where they could do something else well I think we've got some pictures too of the um, litter program some pictures that involve the litter program that you're doing with sh local sheriff's departments that well, is different than the adopt a highway program yes it is um, that's something new that we're trying out this year we want to partner with the local sheriff's departments I have talked to um, so far Fulton Henry and Williams County, and yesterday I spoke with Ottawa County to try to partner with them where they use minimum security inmates mm -hmm. or people that have been um, court mandated to do community, community service. service. And they will be supervised by a deputy, a sheriff's employee. And we partner with them and they will take and just kind of do a sweep of the whole county and help us out. That's great, uh, not only for you, because they're helping you out, but it's great for them because people that are in that situation, either in a minimum security um, prison, jail, right. or needing to do community service, uh, it's a win-win because they is. need something to do. And I think sometimes it's hard to find something to do because not, you know, obviously you can't have them work in schools or you can't, you know, right. there's just some restrictions on what you can have them do. Correct. So if somebody is watching and they think, oh, this is great for either my group to do the adopt a highway or perhaps there's a law enforcement official watching. He says, oh, I'd love to get my, you know, inmates or the people that are doing community service for me involved. What should the step do? What's the first step? All they need to do is call me. Um, just call me at 419-353-8131 and ask for Kim and they'll set them up with me and I will work through the process with them. Uh, basically, it's just an, um, with the Adopt Highway groups, it's just an application yeah. process. Um, with the sheriff's groups, we do an agreement. Okay. Okay, so that's all we need to do is just get a hold of me and I'll, I'm raring to go to that's get them right. set up. Nice and easy. Well, let's also talk about what you guys are doing, the Interchange Beautification Program. Tell us about that. Yeah, this is really exciting. Um, Paramedica the new ProMedica mm -hmm. Exchange, they've adopted that area, and I, people, as they've been driving through, probably can see how nice that, I mean, it's win-winner, we so. Well, I think we have some pictures of those, too. Right. Those uh, interchanges. So ProMedica's adopted one area. Right. And we've had a lot of interest. Um, City of Bowling Green is interested mm -hmm. in doing, uh, adopting that interchange by the university. Um, all they, uh, usually it'll be a community or a business that wants to take over the interchange. They would adopt it, they would, um, they could beautify it, and they will maintain it. 
and that's something that they would keep the litter cleaned up, um, they could mow it, that, those kinds of things. So it, it can be as much, as it doesn't have to just be cleaning up the litter? No. With the uh, adopt and interchange, it can be from just doing litter all the way up to making it look beautiful, making it a gateway. Flowers. Yeah, make it a gateway into the business area or community. I think that I, when you go to Florida, you notice they always have flowers in their medians and in their interchanges. See, we could do that. And we people could, could like that. driving through our area too. Right. If there's a business that's interested in adopting or uh, in the beautification pro program of those intersections, how can they, or interchanges, how do they get in touch with you? Just call? Yep, just give me a call. Um, or they can go to the District 2, ODOT District 2 webpage and they can find me there. Either way, give me a call and we'll start working through that process. That one takes a little bit more sure. time. But, I mean, you drive through Columbus and Cincinnati and Dayton and you see a lot of those. Yeah. And so we want to see those in Northwest Ohio. It's a great way for companies to give back and, and perhaps make the area near their businesses uh, look nicer. And it just, frankly, puts people in a lot better mood. Yes. But the key to all of this is don't litter in the first place. Right. You know, we'll have less trash to pick up if you're not throwing it out your window. That's my speech for the day. <laughs> If you're interested in making our roadways cleaner, all you have to do is get with Kim today. Give her a call. We'll be right back on Better Living.